Well, Stephanie, people with tourist visas will need an I-94 permit to go to other portions of the country. Today in a news conference, CBP officials urge travelers that they need to get, uh, get accomplish it ahead of time. Now, a spokesperson for CBP says that they are encouraging people to apply for the permit on the CBP mobile app. There you can pay in advance, input your documents, and it will help speed up the process. Once travelers get everything done on the app, they need to present it at the station or go to one of the designated I-94 windows where, where it will be processed and there they will receive the actual document. People can also do it and apply in person at the international bridges inside CBP offices. The document is only $6 and the I-94 permit only lasts about six months. Meanwhile, CBP says it will continue to operate in the same way. The only difference being that non-essential travel will not be allowed, but they're not ignoring the risks that remain. Everyone needs to understand uh, COVID-19 is serious. It's very significant. Unfortunately, we've lost some of our officers and some of our patrol agents and other employees to COVID-19. We take this very seriously and our officers out there on the front line work hard to ensure to address and minimize all those potential threats. But COVID-19 is not the only thing that we're always working on day to day. And Stephanie and Eric, CBP says it is expected longer than usual wait times come Monday, but they couldn't give us an estimate of just how long. For now, in the Paso del Norte Bridge, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. All right, Rosemary.